Beijing rolled out the red carpet for Prime Minister Mikhail Mishustin, the highest-ranking Kremlin official to visit China since Russia invaded Ukraine. Beijing is strengthening ties with Moscow despite criticism from the West. Meeting President Xi Jinping on Wednesday, Mishustin said relations had reached an unprecedented high. The two sides signed agreements to deepen cooperation in trade, services, agriculture and sports. On Tuesday, Mishustin opened a business forum in Shanghai, attended by about 500 Russian delegates. Trade between the two soared by 30 percent in 2022. Mishustin says it could reach $200 billion this year. With plans to increase Russian exports of grain and energy and manufacture more Chinese cars in Russia, Moscow is increasingly using the UN and sells oil and gas to Beijing at a bargain price. Analysts say Russia is more dependent on China than ever before. It's definitely fair to say that it's an unequal partnership for sure. Um, you know, it's important to remember that even prior to the Ukraine invasion, uh, the Russian economy was orders of magnitude smaller than the Chinese economy. And uh, now that a lot of it, uh, it's been shut out of Western markets, uh, China has become an increasingly important buyer for, for Russian energy. But while there are benefits, there are also liabilities. The friendship has damaged Beijing's reputation in Europe, and China's special envoy is now working to repair it. This past week, Li Hui has visited Ukraine, Poland and France. Officials say his tour is a mission of peace, though Kiev says it won't accept any ceasefire that involves losing territory to Russia. The visit follows the G7 summit in Japan, where Western leaders repeated condemnation of Russia's invasion something Beijing has refused to do, saying it's neutral in the conflict. Xi Jinping declared a no-limits partnership with Russia before the war. He needs Putin's support in what he's described as an ideological struggle with the U.S. and its allies. But this partnership does have limits. China's economy depends on the West, and it must be careful to comply with international sanctions. Katrina Yu, Al Jazeera, Beijing.